All right, good evening everybody. TGI Friday, July 2nd. Before I forget, like and subscribe. You'll get notified of these updates immediately as opposed to having to constantly look back and forth for when they're posted. Uh, with that being said, I know much anticipated information on the contracts, what everybody's looking for, so let me just give you what I can for right now. We've had substantive talks with the city for several weeks now that were probably more productive than the last several years combined. Um, all I can tell you without going into too much details is we are done basically negotiating the financial package numbers wise uh, unless we go to arbitration uh, then we're going back to our original offer to the city but the package we've presented currently is extremely fair and it is at the take it or leave it point we were hoping to have an answer by yesterday uh, the city realistically has till Next Thursday is the last scheduled conversation on this, but that's not even really a debate that, that it's or a negotiation that, that day. It's, um, okay, do we have something to put out to the members for a ratification vote or not? We are not gonna go back and forth and uh, tweak our numbers any more than we already have. So stay tuned with that. And just to clarify, the demand for arbitration has never been rescinded. That's been in place for several years. The only thing left to do is name an arbitrator or agree upon an arbitrator and then start that process, which would be relatively quick. Um, hopefully we don't have to go that route because like I said, there's going to be some things that change if that's the hardball uh, tactics the city wants to play. But for anybody who watched today's special city council meeting specific to law enforcement and superintendent and manpower and issues and staffing issues, um, I don't know, there must have been a mess this morning before that city council meeting because apparently a lot of aldermen who have been blaming the police for everything under the sun had come to Jesus moments and now the police aren't the problem. We need more police. We need to appreciate the police. I will like to publicly thank the superintendent for his very clear definitive language about supporting and appreciating and thanking the men and women of the CPD who have done outstanding police work at least for his term for the last year plus and even longer than that um, it's four years without a contract and it's been a thankless four years that's progressively gotten worse today was a refreshing you know change of pace i only hope that there weren't just lip service we're going to see if the rubber hits the road when it comes to this contract and if the aldermen really give a damn or not don't forget a lot of these are the same aldermen that voted for a budget that took 614 jobs off the budget. Now the superintendent tried spinning that as saying, yes, but they wouldn't have been able to put through the academy anyway. It's irrelevant. The, the simple fact is that if we were at full staff, post COVID now, going forward, that's 600 plus more police officers we could theoretically have on the street if they were in the budget, but they're not even committing to reinstating those spots even though everybody today basically said we need more police. Um, and they were, I think Kim Fox's name was only mentioned once or twice, but the superintendent did a phenomenal job explaining the problem with the electronic monitoring specifically. And the numbers of people currently, especially violent offenders, on electric monitoring now compared to even just three years ago. And it is an insanely drastic number where the judges at 26th and Cal have decided that this was a new avenue to clear out the jails, whether it was Sheriff Dart pushing it, who the hell knows, but it's disgraceful the amount of violent offenders they have left back on the street. You know, every time an officer does something wrong, one officer, even an honest mistake, they can't wait to persecute him. Like one thing is really like this new trend now, and, we, and, he, and when it's the police, even one is too many. However, when it's one of their own, it's never too many. Yesterday, we had the fourth alderman in this legislative body since this last election indicted. Four out of 50. That's about 8%. Could you imagine if even eight officers were under federal indictment, the outrage that you would hear from City Hall? But you don't hear anything when 8% of their coworkers are under indictment and nothing. And what are we talking about? More police oversight a department and a profession, but specifically a department in Chicago that already has 
four layers of professional oversight. No profession has anywhere near that, let alone two. We have four. Doctors, lawyers, you name it. And we don't get paid half the money either one of those professions do. But we are subjected to more and more. And July 21st, there will be a city council meeting at 10 a.m. that's going to force an ordinance out of the Public Safety Committee and onto the floor for a vote to add even more oversight. Whether it's CPAC or GAPA, they're really pushing to get this vote going. And it's going to happen. The vote's going to happen. It's incumbent upon us to call these aldermen, friends, family, anybody who lives in the city, call your alderman and tell them enough is enough. Oversight is not the issue. That is not the problem that's plaguing this city. They need to focus, and especially if they really meant the words they said today, um, between COPA, IAD, the Office of Inspector General, and the, the uh, Training Standards Board down in Springfield, um, there's plenty of oversight when it comes to law enforcement in Chicago. So again, we absolutely need to be on top of the game for the next three weeks and letting our voices be heard loud and clear. Enough is enough. Speaking of Springfield, House Bill 3653 and the Trailer Bill 3443. July 1st, those changes took effect. Our Facebook page has a very detailed uh, analysis of the changes and what was punted to January of next year. Uh, those detailed changes will be on the website, which we have a new website July 1st too, so take a look at that. But those changes will be on the website later tonight, along with the link to this video. Uh, and we're not done with that either. The goal is to try and get another trailer bill to unwind even more of the nightmare bill in the veto session this fall. We'll keep you up to date on that. Days off canceled, 12-hour days. Here we are, another July 4th holiday. Try and enjoy it as best you can what's left of it or what you have to enjoy, but specific to the arbitration that was scheduled for July uh, the third week. Even if that would took place, there was no way we were going to have arbitration ruling prior to Labor Day. Um, the superintendent's been very clear. The new, I guess, emergencies are Memorial Day, Father's Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day, um, even though they're contractual violations. So we had filed the first grievance and, and request for arbitration before the sergeants and lieutenants. They had followed suit after the fact. We had some discussions. The decision was made that we'd have them all actually heard at the same time. So because we had consolidated this whole process, uh, that July date was not going to work. It's now going to be uh, a third week in August, it looks like. Um, but the goal is to get this done decided so it doesn't happen again next year going forward. We'll keep you posted on that. Uh, I don't have too much else to say other than let you know that the members of Lodge 7 will be out and about this weekend. You all got your days off canceled. You can guarantee that we're going to be working too. Um, we'll be making visits, having conversations, and uh, bring some food and refreshments out and about Saturday, Sunday, uh, probably even Monday too. Um, so until then, have a safe weekend. Keep the faith. No, we are not going to relent and give up anything uh, to keep this job at least the way we know it for the foreseeable future. Um, the pendulum is swinging back. The goal is to push it, not let it just take gravity, take hold, and swing it back naturally. We have to force it back to our side of the, uh, the ball, so to speak. Have a good weekend. Take care.